How's it going today, guys? This video is gonna be a quick one, hopefully, and it's gonna be over the QD sling mount um, on the T-Pro model for the, uh, the newer Gen 2 or the newer version of the Benelli M4. Uh, Tuscany FX FTX, uh, he requested I do this video, so I'm gonna try and make one for him real quick. Um, there was a lot of people that didn't get this QD sling mount um, on their new models. I'm not sure why. From what he told me, um, they were just being put in about six weeks ago or something like that. So I guess if you bought it before that time, you're not, you won't be having these. Uh, he contacted Benelli. They sent him a new one out from what I understand. So that'll be good for him. Um, and also, uh, I will be putting a video out on all the upgrades I did on this. This is actually complete now, finally. Took me a while. Um, I've just been really busy and I haven't had the time to make more videos, but uh, one of my subscribers, I, I believe he's a subscriber, requested this video, so I wanted to get out as soon as possible for him because he has a part in coming. So I do have a lot to this. Um, it's a really cool build and I will be making a video on it. So if you want to see more on this, more in depth review, uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and I'll try to get a video out on this as soon as possible. But <clears throat> one thing I wanted to say, I just hit 200 subscribers. So I do appreciate all the support and um, you know, the, the views and stuff. Uh, I mainly started this channel um, basically just to give out information to other people. Uh, there's a lot of questions I didn't have answered and that took me tons of time, hours, days, uh, just to figure out solutions for stuff or figure out what's the best option to go about. You know, do I get this part? Should I get this shotgun? It took me a while to figure out if I wanted to go with the Benelli or the Beretta 1301. So, um, it's, it's mainly for you guys. I know the, uh, the videoing isn't the greatest and, um, you know, I'm sorry about that, but obviously I'm not a big time YouTuber, so I don't have a bunch of fancy equipment. I'm just doing it on my phone, editing on my phone. So I'm doing what I can, but I do appreciate the support and, uh, the subscribers. So, uh, that I have, and, uh, I'm going to keep trying to put out content for you. So thank you very much for that. Um, if there's, you know, if I've been filming a lot with the camera angle horizontal, um, so I can get the full view of the weapon. Um, when I look at it on my phone, it looks fine, but um, it might not be fine for some people. So just <clears throat> if there is a problem or if you can't view it well, let me know. Let me know how it views up on your screen. Uh, I don't really watch YouTube on my phone on on the computer, so I'm not sure how. Um, it looks for people on computer, but um, doing the best I can. I'm trying to, you know, help out with what information I have, with what knowledge I have. I am a relative, relatively new uh, gun enthusiast, so uh, compared to other people, I have a lot more experience. So if I say something wrong, um, just you know, bear with me. But um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, like I said, this is for you, Tuscany, so I appreciate your support, and I hope this helps you out. Um, I did look into this rubber part a little bit more. Um, it does not seem to come off, so I'm guessing this is just the backer or where it screws into. Um, I, like I said, I ended up mounting it, mounting my sling here. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter much. Kind of the only benefit you get is the swiveling aspect. I didn't necessarily felt it matter that much. Uh, when I, when I mounted it up here, um, it was a little bit less comfortable for me. So I went ahead right here, but if you do want the sling mount, um, go ahead and email Benelli like Tuscany did and, uh, they'll send you out a new one. So yeah, I can't, um, pull this out. This does compress. So I'll flip it to the other side. So if you can see in there, let's see if I can get a better angle. 
There's a freaking shadow. There we go. Sorry, man. I'm doing the best I can. Um, I'll take a different video, but pretty much this is, uh, it just looks like an Allen key wrench. Um, and I'm guessing that that just threads into the back. I'm guessing it's just a two piece design. You have this, uh, you have this front threaded part and the back blank part. I'm guessing it just threads into there. Um, but yeah, there's not much to it, man. Um, once you get it, I'm sure you'll see probably how it goes in there, but just an Allen key wrench, um, goes ahead and screw that in, which I'm not going to take it off. Sorry, but, um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be much to it. So, um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a video on this later on, have a lot of cool stuff on it. Um, and, uh, if you do want to see more, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'll try to get this out ASAP. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching Tuscany. I hope this helped. If it didn't let me know. Um, but I will, uh, if it didn't help you and you still have, uh, problems or concerns, just, uh, go ahead and shoot me another comment on this video and I'll go ahead and pull this off. And if you can see that's an Allen key right there. Looks like it just threads in there. It does look like a bottom portion. I'm guessing that's the backer side that it threads into. But yeah, it's definitely an Allen key just on threads, so it doesn't look like there's too much to it. Uh, Tuscany, appreciate the support, man. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you.